Nigeria joined the rest of the world to celebrate World Savings Day with citizens highlighting the value of saving money and fostering a culture of being economical. The primary aim of this day is to emphasize the significance of saving money and achieving financial security. Omolola Ololade delves into the unique savings culture in Nigeria and spoke with Nigerians who are shaping their financial future with discipline, determination, and a strong sense of community. In Nigeria, the concept of savings is deeply entrenched in the nation's culture. The practice of saving passed down through generations has manifested in various forms from the iconic piggy bank popularly known as a traditional kolo to the community-driven daily or monthly contributions called isusu or ajo. The humble piggy bank, often gifted to children as a cherished possession, teaches the importance of saving from a young age instilling financial discipline. But is the habit of savings still relevant among young people today? I save in different forms. Now I save through the bank and I use um, this Ajo stuff that we do. Probably I save like let's say 100,000 today. Next month I, I, I must have removed maybe like half of it. When I first get my salary the first thing I do is to like, keep an amount for my savings and then the rest I can apportion into different areas of my life where I want to spend. According to some parents, saving isn't just about setting money aside. It's about securing their future and teaching their children financial responsibility, exemplifying a tradition that has spanned generations. This saving, have been, their parents have encouraged us to saving. Likewise, we now we encourage our citizens to save. Today, by that time, our children, our parents don't open a bank account for us, but we open bank accounts for our children these days for them to save their money, to have their money saved. And so that can you to have something in touch. I have four children and at least the two grown up ones, I have an account for them. Even apart from bank, their mother have a, a small save for them where they normally put small, small money. In an interview with the head of marketing communications of a savings platform in Lagos, he indicated that people have to be intentional about the habit of savings regardless of their present economic situation. So these people have decided to be intentional about how they are saving, irrespective of what the economy is saying. Um, your purchasing income or your purchasing power may have reduced, but things that people are doing to help themselves is to maybe increase your skill. When you're able to increase your skill, you can earn more. Look for other ways to earn more. But it doesn't change the fact that you still need to actually save. Although the idea of cooperative societies or thrift contributions has been a major trend among market women, Individuals and corporate organizations have also embraced thrift contributions in recent years, improving the people's saving culture across different strata of life. As Nigeria evolves, the recognition of the need to modernize savings practices has continued to grow with the emergence of digital banking and fintech solutions becoming increasingly popular, enabling Nigerians to save and invest securely and conveniently. Omolola Ololade reporting for News Central.